We are tracking some severe weather here that could make things sticky for the evening commute. Yeah, the sky says it all. Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane is here with the very latest. So Tara, what's the risk here? Multiple severe thunderstorm warnings in effect here across the heart of the metro right now. And the main threat is damaging wind gusts, but also some of these storms possibly producing some at least small size tail as they move to the east and northeast through the area. So let's take you on a tour here. Some real intense storms right now. Torrential rain right over the heart of Concord and Harrisburg. And this is heading east along that highway. 73 corridor out toward Mount Pleasant. This severe thunderstorm in effect for Cabarrus County and far northeastern Mecklenburg County until 5 o'clock. But this storm is now out of Mecklenburg County. But on the heels of that, we have yet another storm that has been moving in off to the south and west and still some signs. And we're looking at uh, some of that hail right over the heart of the Harrisburg area. Again, maybe some small sized hail. And we zoom out and you can see additional severe thunderstorms moving through Gastonia, South Gastonia right now out toward Belmont, Southern Gastonia. Gaston County and right over the heart of the Charlotte area uptown West Charlotte near the airport severe thunderstorm warning in effect due to that possibility of some damaging wind gusts and hail. So this one going until 445 and then we have that next one to the south over the heart of York County and Chester County also seeing some torrential rain coming in and then more clusters of storms, real heavy rain and a ton of lightning right over Rockingham and this is pushing to the north and east and you can see how the Mecklenburg County area got highlighted in blue. That's the aviation warning here. So just warning, obviously, aviation in the uh, airport that we do have that severe storm in the vicinity. All coming in with a cold front. So these are kind of riding along that boundary, working with plenty of fuel with the heat and humidity today. Severe thunderstorm watch continues wherever you see the pink. So Charlotte Metro points north and east until 9 p.m. So 9 o'clock this evening, that gives you an idea on the timing. Again, damaging wind, the main threat, lower risk of hail, not as much concerned about the tornado risk with this particular system, and maybe some at least brief flash flooding, too, taking place with this torrential heavy rain. So by 8 to 9 o'clock, most of this is out of here, not worried about severe weather overnight, unlike you all in the mountains, maybe waking up due to some of those tornado warnings that we had with that line coming in in the front last night. But uh, later on tomorrow, we are looking mostly dry. The heat, obviously, another big part of the weather story. We've had that heat advisory in effect for the Charlotte area, south and east. Ahead of any cooling rain temperatures, well up into the 90s. We've got 91 right now, but look at what the rain does. Down to 77 degrees in Gastonia. Still some low to mid-90s off to the east. And once you factor in that humidity, it feels like 101 up to 105 and some of your neighborhoods. It's not going to be that hot tomorrow, not nearly as hot with some lower humidity coming in behind this front as well. Temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 80s. However, notice on the little doormat there as you're headed out the door, we could see a couple of late evening storms tomorrow. Why is that? It's because we have this front that may not totally clear our entire area, stalling out to the south and east. And so most of us, nice and dry day. Lots of sunshine, scattered clouds. But notice by 9, 10, 11 o'clock, we could get an isolated, stronger storm redeveloping along that lingering front mainly over upstate South Carolina and south and east of Charlotte. But the muggy meter takes a big drop for the latter part of the week before the mugginess, the humidity starts to rise again. It is still summertime, of course, by the end of the weekend and early next week. Rain chances much lower. The next few days, right on into the weekend, we may get another system bringing us the chance of a few more afternoon and evening storms as that humidity returns going into next week. So really uh, several mostly dry days ahead after the storms move out this evening, except for that slight chance the next couple of days south and east of Charlotte. Even though the humidity will be lower starting tomorrow, it's still going to be quite hot with highs in the upper 80s to low 90s.